internet of everything is something we're hearing about more and more. And essentially what it is, is every device in our lives now wants to be online. Our light bulbs, washing machines, fridges, dishwashers, they all wanted to be connected into this ecosystem to be able to communicate to each other. The thing that really gets me as excited around this is why. It's around making all of our lives easier and making it so that we don't actually always have to make a decision. Technology can make decisions for us and it can help us to lead better lives. The challenge for any organisation, particularly the bigger ones, and government certainly falls into this area, is around adapting to change. With all of these devices now in our lives wanting to connect uh, to the internet, we've got to think differently. It's around making sure that we're adapting to change. Business today is more volatile than ever, times are more uncertain, and you've got to have your business set up to be able to succeed and thrive in this new economy. If you want to be an entrepreneur, and think like an entrepreneur today, you've got to get on this train of understanding how to embrace volatility. The big thing that excites me in the transport sector is the internet of everything. It's opening up brand new opportunities. But where we're at at the moment is cars can drive on their own, there's no doubt, but they're all still operating on their own as individual items. Where the internet of everything comes in is these cars will start talking to each other. And not only that, cars will start talking to things on the road, like traffic lights, infrastructure, will now be internet enabled. What this allows is a brand new era where devices are talking to each other as we're driving and they're able to make even better and more conscious decisions about what to do in the future. I think technology has overtaken us as human beings and we've now not got the control that we thought. We used to be ahead of technology, we used to be the ones that were making decisions and now we've got this fear factor around actually technology taking control. I think the government uh, has to be a catalyst for helping this change to happen and government shouldn't be focused on setting policy but it should be an incubator uh, for businesses to be able to set themselves up.